show them the face of dread as the blood flows, hungering the talons. Death's Chrisman Maiden, Garuta, is now. Cool, YouTube. All right, punks, let's get into this Garuda build. We've got two Garuda builds for you, both being four forma. The first one being Bloody Narrowing. Starting from the top left to right, we have Still Charge, Pain Threshold, Prime Continuity, Umbra Intensify, Vitality, Stretch, Quick Thinking, Hunter Adrenaline, Narrow Minded at 12, and Prime Flow. Our Arcanes are Arcane Guardian and Arcane Avenger. This gives you a duration of 218, Efficiency 100, Range 103, and Strength 144. This is the less aggressive of the two builds. The way this build works is it gets itself into a corner, using Dread Mirror to take on all incoming damage, casting one or two Blood Altars to refill its energy, and then using Sleeking Talons while we're teaming this up with the Rubico. As a sniper rifle, it does large damage, and you have complete control over the front of your spectrum. This build also has great synergy with the Zinstar. You can cast that out in front of you, giving you more control over the battlefield. When you do take damage, you have Quick Thinking, Hunter Adrenaline, and Prime Flow, mixed with Pain Threshold combo that keeps you alive. When Garuda is at two hit points, you get 100% extra damage. This is really good, but you can be easily killed. So that's why we're running this combo. You can also power up her first ability, the Dread Mirror. Uh, I've seen damage numbers of up to a million with this build. Let's get into our second build, the Bloody Talent. Starting off from the top left, we have Still Charge, Pain Threshold, Brahm Continuity, Umbra Vitality, Umbra Intensify, Natural Talent, Quick Thinking, Hunter Adrenaline, Stretch at 8, and Prime Flow. Our Arcanes are Arcane Guardian and Arcane Fury. This build has larger life at 850, duration is 155, efficiency is 100, range 138, and strength 155. The way this build works is it gets into the thick of the battle and still builds off the Dread Mirror and Blood Altar effects and using the Sleeking Talons to stun and do damage to your opponents. The difference is this one's closer to the battlefield. This build uses Garuda's Talons, which is a really good status weapon. We also have Bloody Eye, but we're going to be working on that. It comes soon. It's a terrorist killing Garuda. We're still testing it. All right, punks, let's give this Garuda a run for her money in the Simulacre. Also, guys, I'd like to remind everybody we have a Discord channel where we talk a lot about Warframe. The link is in the cards and the description below. All right, punks, we got an enemy level 155 corrupted army that we're going to send after this Garuda. This is our Bloody Narrow control build. First thing we're going to do is take down that nullifier so we can get in there and cast our red mirror now once we start that we can then hit the blood altars and we need to take down this healer quick because he is going to keep them alive and then we need to back off and start our seeking talents this is going to give us a little second of control as they're all stunned and we're going to cast our zen star out Create another blood altar, and then just start sniping the crap out of people. I'm not even worried about the guys close to me because they're just in recharging the dread mirror. I'm gonna recast it. Kill out a few more guys, and then I'm gonna charge it up for a big hit. I'm gonna find another guy to recast. And get back here. Let's see who we got. Nobody back there. Kill some of our life. Get more energy. And recast another Seeking Talon. This is going to um, freeze the guys. It's going to display damage numbers, which is great for us because we're going to use that to strike on the enemies. And just pinpoint accuracy sniper rifle them out. And for our last guy, we're going to charge up. Come on, keep shooting at me. Come on, keep shooting at me. And do, uh, oh, I don't know. This is probably a million. <laughs> See you later, buddy. And that's our uh, Bloody Narrowing build. Let's go check out our Bloody Talent build because that's the more aggressive of the two. Same build as last time. Enemy level 155. Simulate. This is our Bloody Talent build. Same idea as last time. We have to get rid of certain targets first. Most targets are our healers and nullifiers. 
once those are done, we can jump right back into the battle and set up for a uh, fun little thing. Now we're going to hit our Seeking Talents to lock down the enemies again. And then we're going to jump right in there and start slashing and cutting it. Yeah. Make sure to keep them in front of you and keep that Red Mirror taking the damage because you can charge it up for a really fun thing, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to lock them all down again. And we're going to charge up our mirror. Recast it. Get us another healing station, as I like to call it. And jump in and just cut them to pieces. Recast our fourth ability to find those last guys. Drain some of our life so that we can get some more damage. And we'll do some sniping attacks. And jump in there as well. This build is a little bit more aggressive when it comes to getting into the middle of fights. And then taking out the last bit of the guys. Let's just blow this guy off the face of the planet. Bye bye. 